In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three of my favorite perennial vegetables I grow for leafy greens. Hey, I'm Ben Martis with Wild Sprout Nursery, and I've been growing perennial food systems for the past eight years while living at a rental property. Some of these you may not have heard of before, so stick around. This is garden sorrel. If I had to think of one plant that could survive the apocalypse, I think garden sorrel might be it. It's a super drought tolerant plant and produces an abundance of leaves that persist right up until the first frost. The leaves are deliciously sour, really great for eating fresh in salads. Sorrel, it's pretty awesome. I found that sorrel does best in part shade conditions. It can handle full sun and also perform in full shade, but part sun really seems to be where this plant thrives. It likes those fairly shady kind of nooks of your garden where there's other plants casting shade over top of them. I probably have hundreds of sorrel plants on the property now, and they all originated from one plant. You know how? From these seeds right here. Sorrel reproduces very easily from seed. Of all the perennial vegetables that I grow, sea kale really butters my beans. Sea kale is a different species of plant than your typical garden kale. The species is Crambe maritima. This plant is adapted to poor sandy soils, drought conditions, hot full sun. The leaves are delicious. You know, I actually prefer the taste of sea kale leaves compared to your typical garden kale. The seeds of sea kale are really interesting and they make these quirky kind of pods around the seed. Just like this here. And this particular plant has just dried down quite a bit of its seeds. Oh, I didn't even mention the blooms are great for pollinators, huh? Well, they are. Yeah, so this next plant's pretty cool and not a whole lot of people are growing it. Maybe you want to see what it is. But if you don't, that's fine. I mean, uh, you probably should, but you don't have to. Um, but you probably should. Next up is a perennial vegetable I think would survive an apocalypse. What plant am I talking about? Turkish rocket. Turkish rocket is a really interesting perennial vegetable. What we're going for with this plant are the young leaves and the immature flowers. The young leaves are best harvested in early spring when they're first emerging, and they taste a lot like a spicy type of mustard green. Notice that they're nice and smooth textured when they're young, but as the plant matures and grows throughout the season, the leaves are going to get more and more fuzzy. So as the season goes on, probably the most exciting yield from this plant becomes available. It starts to develop the flowers. You'll notice an uncanny resemblance to broccoli rob. And that's exactly what this plant is making for us. Slightly spicy broccoli rob florets. Delicious for stir fries. Hey, be sure to check out my other videos on the Wild Sprout Farm and Nursery channel.